Hey everybody, Don Georgievich here, Job Interview Tools. If you were laid off from your last job and you were totally awesome and you need to explain that to employers, well, I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. If that sounds exciting to you, if you were totally awesome and you were laid off, you want to know more about that, hit the like button on this video and we'll dive right in. All right, so this is a true story. I just got this from a customer and they wrote in to me and they said, hey Don, I was totally amazing. Um, I was the best worker in my class and I hurt my hand. And so I got, I was able to get time off while my hand healed. So I took maybe three or four weeks off, which the company told me to do. And then after that time, they said, uh, we're downsizing. We're going to lay you off. Just stay at home. Well, wow, what a blow. You hurt your hand, a work-related injury, no less. You take some time off because they told you take some time off with pay, and then they lay you off. So what are you supposed to tell employers about getting laid off? You can't just go in there and say, well, you know, I was one of the best that they had, but they laid me off because employers are smart. They're going to be like, well, we know from experience that... Uh, other companies don't let their best people go. They let their weakest people go. And they know this. So they're going to question you. They're going to say, you know, why would they even let you go if you were the best of the best? So how do you explain getting laid off then? So in this case, this is where you want to turn things around a little bit. You want to, like I said, in this person's case, I told them, don't even mention the injury because all it does is it makes the problem and your reasoning just more convoluted because you're saying, well, you know, I hurt my hand, I took some time off, and then they just laid me off. It's too many things. You want to spoon feed it to the employer and you want it to be very simple. And the simple thing is you were laid off because the company was downsizing and that's it. Skip the injury. Don't, don't compound your reasons. Because usually, I mean, just when people lie, they usually give compounded reasons. Well, you know, they say this, this, and this, and that's why I couldn't do this, or that's why I was let go. Three reasons sounds a little fishy. One reason is believable. And that's what you want, especially when you're talking about being laid off. Now, you can take this one step farther. In this case, this was true for this person because they were an outstanding worker. Their manager tried to save their job, but, you know, the corporate controller said, you know what, we, we just have to get rid of, you know, 10 people. And unfortunately, you know, you know, David is one of them and he has to go. Regardless of his performance, we know he's great, but it's a numbers game. That's what you tell the employer. You say, you know what? My manager tried to save me, my, save my job. They didn't want to let me go. It was just a numbers game. I was one of the best, but they were just, they were downsizing in that department. And in some cases, maybe they were eliminating that department. So that's why they had to let me go. Now, that's pretty simple, right? Just give them one reason. Now, here's the other trick to the question. Let's say you've been laid off for six months. The employer's going to say, well, you know, David here, what have you been doing for the last six months? And if you just come back and say, well, you know, I've been looking for jobs, I've been sitting around watching YouTube, uh, eating potato chips, uh, take a little bit of time off, that's not what they want to hear. They want to hear that you have been doing something to better yourself, to continue growing in your industry. So don't just tell them, well, I've been looking for jobs for the past six months because you can't really, I mean, yeah, I know it takes a lot of time to look for jobs. It can be a full-time job, but you want to let them know that you've been doing other things to grow and nurture your skills. And, you know, tell them, you know, I, I took some online classes. Um, you know, I studied some, uh, some master classes. I studied some YouTube videos. I read some books about uh, improving my, uh, my programming skills or whatever it was, or even tell them you volunteered. I went down to um, our local school or our local church, and I volunteered my time there, my accounting skills, to help them with their own accounting practices. You want to tell the employer that you have been doing something meaningful while you were laid off. 
If you just say, I was looking for jobs, that's, that just says, you know, that, you know, you're kind of lame. <laughs> you should be doing more. I mean, and maybe, maybe, you know what, maybe the truth is you were just looking for jobs and, and you were just taking some time off and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that because, you know, work life is stressful and you're just kind of decompressing from the whole situation. But from an employer's perspective, they don't want to hear that you've just been sitting around collecting unemployment. They want to hear that you've been doing something to nurture and grow yourself. You were learning or helping or contributing in some way instead of just taking a back seat while you're unemployed. That's how you go farther with that question. That's how you answer that question to their satisfaction. And for this person here um, who injured their hand and was laid off, they went in and they used a very similar response. And, you know, and they said, uh, my manager wanted to keep me, but they couldn't. And I was let go. But because they were so sincere, they were so genuine that they landed the next job that they interviewed for. And I know you can too. I know you can too. Now, there's going to be other questions that they're going to ask you on your interview. This is just, this is one that you're going to have to prepare for. Now, there are many other questions they're going to ask you. In that case, I would strongly suggest grabbing a copy of the Complete Interview Answer Guide. This guide has over 140 different questions in it. It's got over 40 different behavior questions. Tell me about yourself. Why did you leave your last job? Why do you want to work here? What are your weaknesses? What are your accomplishments? You know, why did you have poor grades in college? Uh, this book is going to show you how to answer everything. This book is available in ebook, in physical hard copy like this, right, like you see right here. It's also available in audio. You can download all the audio tracks to your phone and video. This guide right here is going to help you go so much farther in any job interview. It's going to help you ace totally going to help you ace your next interview. And for the questions that they ask you that aren't in this book, the questions are structured in a way that you are going to learn the right framework to use when answering questions. You can apply this framework to any type of question that you get in any type of job interview. And that's the trick. You don't want to go in there and just memorize. Don't go into a job interview and just memorize um, answers that you found on the internet or answers that you found in this guide. You want to take those answers, learn from them, and make them your own. Don't just say something because, you know, I said it in here or you found it online. Make it your own. Make it meaningful. And that way you don't have to memorize anything. That way that answer just becomes a part of you. And you can say it any time in the interview, and it'll always come out a little bit different, but it'll be natural. It will be genuine. So whatever you do, don't memorize. Don't memorize answers. Now, whether you, whether you get this book here or whether you get somebody else's on Amazon or wherever, um, there's, there's good stuff all over the place. I mean, I, I like mine. I know it's trusted because um, this is my book. I've written it. It's been around for 10 years. It's available in three different forms, ebook, hard copy, um, audio and video. It's the only, only book like that on the planet. There are other books out there. There's other people who do this kind of stuff. But, you know, whatever you do, whichever program you choose, you know, pick one that you feel comfortable with, that you believe in, and don't memorize. Don't memorize the answers because that is not going to help you get the interview. It's not about the answer. It's about how you deliver the answer and the content and the feeling and the emotion that you put into your response. And you can't do that for memorization. You have to be genuine. All right, my friend? So before your next interview, go ahead, grab a copy of this book. You can get a quick and easy download from jobinterviewtools.com. I'll put a link below this video and you're going to go a lot farther in your next interview. I guarantee you're probably going to ace your next interview. So that's all I got for you today. If you like this video, if you like my channel, please subscribe and I would very much appreciate that. Good luck in your next interview and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.